I was shocked. This secret item breaks down compost in weeks, not years. What if I told you that your compost pile doesn't need to sit around for years before it turns into rich dark fertilizer? Yes, it's possible to cut the waiting time dramatically, from years down to just a few months. And you know the secret lies in knowing exactly what to add, how much to add, and how to keep the composting process alive and thriving. If your compost has ever smelled bad, stalled completely, or just taken forever to break down, this video is about to change the way you compost forever. Why do most compost piles rot slowly? Well, the biggest mistake many gardeners make is treating compost like a garbage dump. They toss in kitchen scraps, leaves, and grass clippings, then wait, hoping nature will do the rest. The truth is, compost is not a dump, it's a living system. Billions of microorganisms work inside that pile, breaking down organic matter into the nutrient-rich fertilizer your plants love. But these microbes can't work effectively unless the balance is right. Compost needs a healthy mix of carbon and nitrogen. Carbon comes from the dry stuff, like twigs, paper, and leaves. Nitrogen comes from the green, juicy materials like grass clippings, food scraps, and manure. The perfect ratio is 30 parts carbon to just one part nitrogen. When this ratio is off, microbes slow down, starve, and your compost pile falls asleep. That's why you may have been waiting for years with nothing but half-rotted waste. Nitrogen activators, they're really the fuel your compost pile craves. If you want quick decomposition, you must feed your microbes properly. And, you know, their favorite food is nitrogen. Adding a thin 5-centimeter layer of fresh manure or poultry droppings between other compost materials gives your microbes the boost they need. This thin layer acts like a fire starter inside your pile, heating it up and kicking decomposition into high gear. Without this extra nitrogen, your compost will always crawl along at a snail's pace. Grass clippings and nettles. Now those are nature's green turbochargers. Fresh grass clippings are another fantastic way to supercharge your compost. They are loaded with nitrogen and break down quickly, helping to balance carbon-heavy materials like dry leaves or sawdust. Nettles are even better because they bring not only nitrogen but also iron and potassium into the pile. Together, they create a mineral-rich environment that makes composting faster and produces even healthier fertilizer for your soil. Sometimes your compost needs more than just raw organic matter. It needs concentrated nitrogen. That's where urea comes in. It's incredibly potent and when diluted, provides exactly what microbes need. To make it work for you, dissolve 3 tablespoons of urea in one full bucket of water, about 10 liters, and pour it evenly over your compost pile. This simple treatment can double the speed of decomposition, transforming your heap into usable fertilizer in half the time. Yeast solution, well, it's kind of like a microbial energy drink for your compost. Microbes aren't the only living organisms that help compost. Yeast plays a powerful role, too. By preparing a simple yeast solution, you can really stimulate the activity of your compost's microflora. Here's the recipe. Take one tablespoon of dry yeast and one cup of sugar, dissolve them in one liter of warm water, and let the mixture ferment for about two hours. Once it's bubbling, just dilute it in 10 liters of water and pour it into your compost. Within two to three weeks, you'll see a dramatic change. The pile will heat up, shrink faster, and give off the earthy aroma of healthy decomposition. Homemade Herbal Infusion Now that's a natural compost booster. If you prefer an all-natural root, a herbal infusion works wonders. Chop up herbs such as dandelion, nettle, and chamomile, then add chicken manure, about 40 grams for every 100 grams of chopped herbs. Cover the mixture with one liter of water and let it sit for three to five days. The result is a powerful liquid full of beneficial microbes. Pour it straight into the center of your compost pile and just watch it come alive again. This method is a time-tested way to wake up even the most sluggish heap. Ammonia solution? Well, that's pure nitrogen on demand. Sometimes your compost just needs a shock of pure energy. That's when ammonia solution becomes your best friend. Dissolve 3 tablespoons of ammonia in 10 liters of water and pour it over the pile. This acts like an energy drink for microbes, instantly boosting their activity. It's especially useful when your compost pile is dominated by 
carbon-rich materials like dry leaves or sawdust which, you know, tend to break down very slowly. Knowing what to add is powerful, but uh, knowing what not to add is just as important. Avoid diseased plants and weeds with seeds because neither pathogens nor seeds are guaranteed to die during composting. Never add meat, fish, bones, or dairy, as they create foul odors and attract pests like rats. Steer clear of plastics, glass, and synthetic materials, they just don't break down. And skip tomato and potato vines, which can contain harmful toxins that survive in the finished compost. Additives are powerful, but they won't work alone. For quick, healthy decomposition, you must follow a few essential practices. Always chop your materials into small pieces, about 5 to 7 centimeters in size. The smaller the particles, the faster microbes can break them down. Turn your compost pile every 2 to 3 weeks with a pitchfork to add oxygen because, without air, microbes die off and decomposition stops. And never let your pile dry out, compost should feel like a wrung-out sponge. In dry weather, water it, and if possible, cover it with a dark sheet to trap heat and moisture. These simple steps, combined with the right additives, can turn your compost into fertile humus faster than you ever thought possible. When your pile is active, you'll notice changes within just one or two days. On a cool morning, you may see steam rising from the heap. That's heat from microbial activity, sometimes reaching 60 degrees Celsius inside. The pile will begin to shrink, sometimes losing a third of its original volume as waste breaks down, and the smell will change completely. Instead of a foul odor, you'll notice the earthy scent of damp soil and mushrooms, a sure sign that healthy microbes are hard at work. Even the best compost piles sometimes run into trouble, but every problem has a solution. If your compost smells like rotten eggs or ammonia, it means there's too much nitrogen and not enough air. Add dry carbon materials like shredded cardboard or dry leaves, then turn the pile well. If your pile is cold and inactive, it's likely missing nitrogen or moisture. Pour in a herbal infusion or urea solution, water generously, and cover it to retain heat. If flies appear, it means you left food scraps exposed. Cover them immediately with soil or carbon-rich material and the flies will disappear. Your compost pile is not just a heap of waste, it's a living, breathing organism. Feed it right, keep it balanced, and it will reward you with nutrient-rich fertilizer that transforms your garden soil. By using simple additives like manure, grass, nettles, yeast, urea, or ammonia solution, and following the golden rules of composting, you can cut years of waiting into just months. So, if you're serious about faster, cleaner, and more effective composting, try these methods today and watch your compost come alive. Don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central, share this video with fellow gardeners, and stay tuned for more proven tips that will take your garden to the next level.